and we begin here at noon with the OHP investigating a case of malicious destruction of state property. And this one involves the Ten Commandments monument out in front of our state capitol. Well, the monument is no longer there. It crumbled in a crash. Last night around 7 p.m., state troopers responded to reports of an abandoned vehicle, and when they got to the Capitol complex, they found the car had actually driven into the statue of the Ten Commandments in front of our state capitol. The suspect turned himself in to authorities less than one hour ago. No word yet on what criminal charges that suspect may be facing. The broken statue has since been removed, as you can see on your screen. The statue has been taken to a warehouse. State Senator Mike Ritz, who helped fund the building of the statue, says they believe they can fix it. If not, they'll build a new monument with private funding. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and a father. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. An Oklahoma man is blaming the devil for making him crash his car into a controversial monument. The Ten Commandments monument on the grounds of the state capitol has been a hot topic for years, of course. This is what the six-foot-tall pure granite monument used to look like. This is how workers found it today, shortly after a man turned himself in, confessing to the crime. But here's the thing. The vehicle set smashed into the monument for over 12 hours before it was ever found. News Channel 4's Andrew Donnelly joins us live from the state capitol. And Andrew, this is kind of raising some serious security concerns there. Yeah, Kevin, this is a spot where the monument used to stand. Now it's completely bare. Officials say the car remained here for more than 12 hours and Governor Fallon says she's working to figure out why security had no idea. I was just shocked that anybody would be so brazen to come up on the Capitol grounds and run over a piece of our history of our state. Governor Mary Fallon inspects the area where the crumbled monument used to stand. A man on a self-described mission from Satan says the devil told him to urinate on the Ten Commandments monument before smashing into it with his car. He then walked into the federal building, spit on a picture of Barack Obama, and made outlandish threats against the president. Governor Mary Fallon and Capitol officials were left cleaning up the mess. Someone despises our nation's history. State Representative Mike Reynolds says some people are determined to destroy sacred items. And it'll just point out the extremes that some people will go to to deny our nation's heritage. It could have been much worse. This is alarming that anyone would get this close to the Capitol and would be able to knock down a historical monument just 10 feet away from the Capitol building itself. Now the question being asked, if the car sat there for more than 12 hours on Capitol grounds, what else could security miss? I've instructed our Capitol grounds Highway Patrol to do everything they can to make sure that the Capitol is secure, to get to the bottom of this, make recommendations, and make sure we're doing everything we can to protect our people's building, which is the state capitol. And the Oklahoma Highway Patrol did release a suspect's name. However, we're not going to release that because he is currently undergoing psychological evaluations. Reporting live at the Oklahoma State Capitol, Andrew Donnelly, News Channel 4. 29-year-old Michael Reed Jr. was telling special agents that voices in his head and Satan told him to smash into the monument here at the north steps of the Capitol. Now those that helped erect the monument are left in disbelief. That completely blows my mind that they're so scared of a statue that they got to come and tear it down. Michael Sanford voluntarily helped set the foundation where the over seven foot tall monument once stood. Now that same plot is flat. The monument itself in four pieces after Michael Reed drove his vehicle up the northeast lawn, used maintenance ramps to jump the curb and smash into the monument. A lot of labor so that we wouldn't actually mess up the grounds of the property. We left the property just as good as we did before we started. 
and uh, was taking a lot of pride in doing what we were doing. Sanford worked with Representative Mike Reynolds on the plans. A wake-up call, I suppose. If something uh, can be destroyed this close to the building, what could happen inside the building? Five cameras are on the outside of the building near the north steps, but Governor Fallon says she still plans to coordinate with Oklahoma.